Hey guys, I seem to be getting in the habit of filming videos really late at night, so please excuse the lighting. I usually use natural lighting and studio lighting, but we're only using studio lighting today. It's cozy vibes. Okay, so this has been a very highly requested video. A lot of you guys tell me all the time that you actually don't have TikTok, which honestly I commend you about that because I don't get off TikTok. I spend way too many hours on that. But if you didn't know, I made a TikTok account specifically for perfumes so I can post about perfumes literally 100 times a day if I wanted to. <laughs> I've always been obsessed with perfumes as you guys no, I have been obsessed for many many years, but now with perfume talk It's just on a whole nother level and a lot of the times like in my favorites video or in my comment sections here on YouTube A lot of you guys are like can you please do some perfume content here on YouTube as well Because I just don't have a TikTok, but I want to know all the delicious fragrances you're loving So I am gonna start doing that every once in a while and changing up the content just a little bit So it's not the same thing on both platforms, but for today, I want to talk to you about my top 20 favorite fall scents. These are perfumes that I have busted out of my perfume cabinet. And let me tell you, as someone who owns over 150 perfumes, saying that these are my top 20 for fall makes them very special. Like, these are the best of the best. Every single one of these will get you a kiss on the lips, okay? <laughs> People are going to ask you why you smell so damn good. Listen, trust me. These are it right here. These are it. And honestly, I know it's really, really hard to shop for perfumes online. I never recommend you blind buy anything, even though I do it all the time. Do not do that. Never blind buy full bottles. Always sample your fragrances, either in little tiny guys or travel sprays before you commit, okay? It's very important. But yeah, let's get into it. My top 20 fall fragrances. I am really into perfumes that remind me of a carnival right now. <laughs> I think I'm getting ready to read the Caraval series. I put a picture for you right here. And I'm also about to read the Night Circus. And so I feel like I'm really trying to discover fragrances that remind me of a carnival. But this one, this is the carnival of all carnivals. Also, I just bought Brown Girl Jane's Carousel. I blind bought that. You see, I'm talking about not blind binding things in the beginning of this video, but do as I say, not as I do. I just blind bought Carousel because it's literally called Carousel, so I have to. But Cirque du Soleil launched a perfume called Le de Parfum. And this is exactly what a Cirque du Soleil fragrance would smell like. This is the most nostalgic, magical gourmand I have ever smelled. It honestly, wow, wow. I love it so much more than I thought I would. It's insane. And even though the packaging is like really gnarly, like this is a full on weapon. Like, this is metal. I honestly thought this turn, but I'm kind of glad it doesn't. This smells like candy apples, caramel, a little bit of popcorn. I will say I do not like a popcorn note in my fragrances. I do not want to smell like popcorn, not even a little bit, but this has a very, very, very slight popcorn note, very far in the background. I mainly get like candy apple, cotton candy, vanilla, sponge sugar, whipped cream. It's just everything. It reminds me of sitting at a carnival. The magic is in the air. You're at Cirque du Soleil and you just smell all the treats and the goodness. That's what this perfume is. And it is perfect for the fall time. I have talked about this scent more than I've talked about any scent in my collection. So I'm going to go very fast. This is Bianco Latte from Giordini di Toscana. This is my favorite gourmand scent ever. My favorite scent of all time is I don't know what from Dia Sederga because it's the perfect everyday skin scent. But when it comes to gourmands, nothing beats this. I'm sorry. This is creme brulee, vanilla, caramel, honey goodness, and it is everything. This projects like nothing I have in my collection. You will spray it in the morning and get compliments at nighttime. I am walking proof of that. I can barely say that about the other 150 perfumes in my collection. That's how insane, gnarly, perfect this perfume is if you are into gourmands because it is very sweet, but in my opinion, not headache inducing. I just get so many compliments when I wear it that I don't stop wearing it. And compared to a lot of niche fragrances, like Unlucky Scent, Twisted Lily, So Avant Garde, the price on this isn't bad. It's 100 milliliters, 3.4 fluid ounces, and it's $150. Whereas something like Born to Stand Out is 50 milliliters, half the price of this, and a lot more expensive. So for a niche luxury fragrance, it's not bad, okay? And the, the fact that it lasts so long on the skin, It'll take you a long time to go through this. It's perfection, the best gourmand, east of the Mississippi. My second favorite gourmand of all time is Delicia de Marshmallow. I just spoke about this in my favorites video. This is the perfect fall marshmallow. It's fluffy, it's super sweet. It, you will get so many compliments on this as well. If you are not into marshmallows, you will not like this because this smells like pure, fluffy, jet puffed marshmallows. <laughs> okay, let's talk about coffee perfumes. I am a sucker 
for coffee perfumes. Coffee beans are probably like my favorite smell ever. I can't explain what walking into a coffee shop, shop, <laughs> what walking into a coffee shop does to my soul. I can't explain it. And if you want all the coffee shop vibes, you're gonna need one of these two fragrances. I have a few coffee perfumes in my collection, but these two are the best ones. This is Denim's Vietnamese Coffee. This smells like roasted coffee beans with a little bit of condensed milk. It honestly smells identical to the Mas Cafe candle we used to have over at Lights Label. It's pretty gnarly. It's very coffee forward, like it definitely smells like coffee, but it's still wearable. It's not a straight up coffee scent, you know? It just reminds me of sipping on an iced coffee and it just makes me so happy. Awake though, this smells like a hazelnut coffee. This is a little bit creamier than Vietnamese coffee. This to me smells like Nutella coffee. Oh my gosh, I get so much Nutella in this fragrance, but it definitely pulls through more as you wear it on the skin. The longer it's on your skin, the creamier, more vanilla it gets. When you initially spray it, you do get straight up brewing hot coffee, and I just love it. This scent will definitely wake you up in the morning. I love Acro Awake. Now I know everybody and their mama loves Escapade Gourmand. I also love Escapade Gourmand, but I love Amore Cafe even more. They're not dupes, they might not even be sisters, but they're definitely cousins. They both have the same last name. Their dads are brothers. But this one to me is more edible and better. This is Mancera's Amore Cafe and it smells like an ice cream coffee ring pop. Like picture yourself licking up a ring pop, but the ring pop is ice cream coffee flavored. I cannot get over it. Does anybody have this perfume in their collection? Please go grab it right now, put it up to your nose. And tell me that doesn't smell like a damn ring pop. Like straight ring pop. I can't get over it. I can't get over it. It's like insane. Mancera perfumes also last a long time on my skin. I love them. A gourmand that's a little bit similar to Delicia de Marshmallow, but a little bit more chocolatey vanilla and a lot more affordable is Choco Musk from Owl Rehab. You can get this for $10 on Amazon and it is the best sleepy time fall scent. If you want to cuddle up to your pillow and just smell cozy and edible in bed, you need this. I feel like your boyfriend will also really love this if you wear it to bed with him. It is so deliciously sweet it honestly reminds me of the Too Faced chocolate bar palette with a little bit more vanilla in it I love it and I know it doesn't last on the skin but oh my gosh does it last on the clothes it lasts all day on my clothes I don't know what Choco Musk you guys are using that disappears so fast but this bitch lasts spray it on your clothes I dare ya it's so good I can't believe it's so cheap it does open up with a little bit of like that alcohol scent I mean it's ten freaking dollars but I promise that fades immediately it's so good speaking of so good do you want to know what Cassian my Illyrian Papi Chulo warrior smells like do you want to know he smells like somebody would from Fleur like this is Cassian in a bottle like I just pictured this sitting on his nightstand along with like Nesta's vibrator and a rock or something. <laughs> this is the perfect unisex fragrance. I don't like scents that are too masculine and I will wear this up. This is not too masculine in my opinion. It smells like soft, woody, leather, aromatic, spicy, but not too spicy. It's very, very smooth. Like ugh, the man who wears this just took a shower. <laughs> know why not that I feel like Cassian doesn't take many showers but that just smells so good so woody non gourmand that's perfect for fall oh my god let me talk about another fantastic non gourmand this is the most non gourmand in this entire lineup and I cannot explain to you what this fragrance makes me feel this is house of bows espiritu and this is the perfect flaw flaw this is the perfect fall floral because <sighs> I want to cry smelling this. I'm not even trying to be dramatic. This perfume evokes a feeling out of me that I can't explain. It truly, not to be dramatic, makes me emotional when I smell it. It has some floral in there, but there's a tobacco leaf, an oak note, and a little bit of leather that just makes it so delicious for fall. But the combination of those notes, I don't know what it is, but it just makes me feel. Like it just makes me feel it's nostalgic it's so aromatic and woody but also very clean and nostalgic salty beautiful oh my gosh if i could just describe this fragrance it would be elegantly wonderful i keep opening my cabinet just to smell this so that i can feel things i've talked about this fragrance on my channel before i wore it for thanksgiving last year and i'm gonna wear it this year again 
Oh my gosh, this is so good. This is Zara's Nocturnal Life. You guys need to run to Zara and pick this up. I love this. This is the best cinnamon perfume of all time. It smells a lot like Killian's Angel Share, but without the boozy note. It's like you removed the rum from that fragrance and you get Nocturnal Life. This is so freaking good. It's cinnamony. The juniper in there also makes it kind of wintry. There's incense. It's just so smooth. It reminds me of kind of like apple pie, even though apple pie is not a note. This is for real fall in a bottle. If I had to pick one of these scents that just wrapped up fall for me, it would be Zara Nocturnal Life. And it's such an affordable fragrance that honestly lasts a good amount of time on the skin. A little goes a long way. I just love it. You need to try it if you like cinnamon. Isn't it weird that I'm sipping on some cherry cola and also that Mia Espresso at... Oh, I'm not wearing my watch. 8.24 p.m. Not quite Delulu hour, but... Why are you drinking coffee? I don't know. I have problems. Okay, so this bad boy is the perfect combination of sexy and edible. This is Devotion from Dolce & Gabbana. I want to try the new Devotion. Devotion? Oh boy. The new Devotion from Dolce. It's their new intense version. I think that one is a little bit creamier, more hazelnutty. This one is fantastic. This is a scent that I actually slowly fell in love with. When I first smelled it at Sephora, I was like, mm. I'm not a big fan of orange blossom. I'm not a fan of white florals that much. And when I first tried it, I was like, I don't know, which is crazy because I sniff it now and I'm like, wow, that's fantastic. But when I first tried it, I didn't really love it. Then I went back and sprayed it on my body. This transforms on the skin, guys. This is so yummy. It smells like spiced orange creamsicles. The panna cotta in this makes it really edible and delicious, but the orange blossom and the rum just make it so sexy. I absolutely love this fragrance. And it means a lot to me because I bought it in Disney World and I got it engraved in Italy. So I love it. I love this bottle. This bottle is everything to me. This, oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm a sucker for a pretty bottle. I am. Cause like I look at this and I'm like, ew. Especially that this one wasn't cheap for Bath and Body Works. I believe this is like 60 bucks, which is not a lot for a perfume, I know. But it's 1.7 fluid ounce, not even 3.4. And it's $60 and it's Bath and Body Works? I don't know. Things have just gone up in price so freaking much. It's not even funny. I am paying like triple for my nail polishes to make them. <laughs> Random side note, but the cost of making my nail polish has gone up so much that I'm like, how are people living? How are businesses living, surviving? I don't get it. Anyway, besides the ugly packaging, what's inside is everything. This is fairy tale magical vanilla dreams. This is exactly what a princess in the woods would smell like, like a fairy tale fall princess. <laughs> this is vanilla romance from Bath and Body Works, and it is my favorite woody vanilla. Something in this perfume makes me feral. I don't know what it is, but it's the best kind of vanilla. The vanilla they put in this is the best kind of vanilla and the woodiness they added to it just pairs so beautifully. It's not too woody. It's perfectly sweet, but not headachey, warm vanilla sugar sweet. Oh my God, I love it. I know they have a body mist, but I prefer the perfume. There's something about it, you know? I love it so much more than I thought I was gonna love it. Like I walked into Bath and Body Works, smelled it and bought it immediately. This is another vanilla that I swear makes me feral. The darker the juice gets in this, the better this is. You guys need to buy this and then just let it sit and let it get dark because it is more vanilla, more gourmand the darker the juice gets. This is Kaoli Vanilla 28. And when I first tried this perfume years ago, I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't think I love it. And now I'm like, I can't live without this. Funny how that happens to us. This is the epitome of a fall vanilla. It's so edible yet sexy at the same time. The perfect layering fragrance. This pairs so well with so many different scents. You can get this at Sephora. Hands down my most used Kaoli fragrance ever. It's ambery, warm, inviting, sexy, grown up. I just love it. You wanna talk about sexy? I have been talking about this fragrance on my channel for years now. Supposedly they changed the formula or they changed this fragrance. This is like my last bottle of the OG formula. I actually haven't smelled the new one. I don't know if they did really change it, but this is Versace Crystal Noir. And I have gone through, I think three of these. This is the most freaking beautiful scent of all time. I will always repurchase this. I have so many fragrances, like I said in the beginning of the video, there's like 150 bad boys in there, maybe more at this point. And this is top 20 for me. Every single time I wear this, I get so many compliments. I think it's a very unique scent when somebody is wearing this, I know exactly what they're wearing. There's pepper and cardamom in the opening, but as it wears, it gets so smooth and creamy. It's sexy and mysterious. And um, I mentioned this on TikTok, but 
It honestly reminds me of Meryl Streep in Death Becomes Her. Like, I feel like this is what she smells like in that movie. It's giving, like, Rich Widow. I love it. I know you can't tell the dent I have on this bad boy, and it doesn't seem like a big dent, but for somebody with so many bottles, this is a dent. This is another fragrance that just evokes a feeling out of me. I can't explain it. This is Fugazi Angel Dust, and it honestly reminds me of a hug. Someone is giving you a super warm hug with a very thick fuzzy sweater. If I can bottle that experience, not even that scent, the experience of getting hugged <laughs> with a fuzzy sweater, if I can bottle that up, it would be this scent. This smells like a hug. And not like in a warm, amber way in like a musky sweater delicious i want to kiss your neck way what you know what i mean it's giving please let me bury my face into your neck because i love the way you smell and i love you so much i don't, I don't know what's in this but it's magic and i specifically love the x straight i actually haven't smelled like the original angel dust i love the x straight it lasts forever if you want to smell like peach cobbler this fall you need this this is the collab with lemon gourmand and jade this is so good oh my god oh my god realistic peaches but these peaches are like juicy they're like dripping you're like eating them and they're thick and gooey gooey ooey, gooey peach <laughs> i truly love this and i know that lemon gourmand doesn't really last that long on the skin they are super affordable so i don't mind but this one lasts a good amount of time and i really really like this if you want to smell like peach cobbler for an affordable price, you need this. Okay, something not so affordable, but so edible, so delicious, so breathtaking. This lasts forever on my skin. This is a perfume that's slowly making its way up to the top of my gourmand list. This is New Notes Caramelo Vanilla. And holy balls, this is an extra de perfume. This lasts forever on me. I will put it on in the morning and smell it at nighttime. This is so good. This is so good. This is Tonka Dulce de Leche, like delicious Dulce de Leche. I know that sometimes caramel can be a really intense note. I don't necessarily love caramel skin from Fleur. It's good, but I don't love it. It's a little bit too gourmand for me. And Sticky Dates from Lush, I love it as a body wash. Love it so much as a body wash. But as a perfume, it's too intense, too gourmand for me. This is the most wearable caramel I have in my collection. Probably the best caramel I have in my collection. It's totally different from Bianco Latte. This is more creme brulee. This is more Tonka caramel. Brown sugary. Oh my god. This is insane. You can get this at So Avant Garde. I get a lot of my scents and my samples from there. You guys know me. I'm a sample or I buy samples all the time. Mainly from Lucky Scent because their selection is humongous, but I don't love that their samples don't come in a spray. I need an atomizer and so avant guards come in a spray. And you need to sample Caramelo Vanilla. It's so good. I actually have a code. It's not an affiliate code, not sponsored, none of that. But if you use the code Kathleen10, you get 10% off at so avant garde. So that'll save you on some shipping. If you're looking for an iconic cherry scent, you need Cherry Ambition from The Seven Virtues. This is boozy tipsy cherries. You know how I said nocturnal life was fall in a bottle? Okay, this one is giving it a run for its money. These two are the epitome of fall for me. Every time I smell this, it's addicting. This is such an addicting cherry. I am very picky with my cherry scents because a lot of them smell like straight up medicine. Cough syrup, Robitussin, Dimetap, all of that. This is the most wearable, sexy cherry ever. It's boozy, it's juicy, thick. I am obsessed with this. It is so damn good. And one of the best cherry scents I have ever smelled, ever. So Born to Stand Out came out with three new scents for fall. And this one is hands down my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the other two. Naked Laundry smells like a pile of clean laundry with pee on it. I can't explain it. But there is not a urine note in that fragrance, but I smell it. I smell urine in it. I can't explain it. I smell the pee pee in Naked Laundry. I don't love it. And Filthy Musk smells a little bit too filthy for me. It's giving butthole a little bit. A little bit. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> but I am a huge fan of L'Animal. This bitch? Ah! Guys, I don't know how they did this. They quite literally bottled honey. If you've ever wanted to smell like realistic honey, like opening a jar of honey and taking a big old whiff, you need L'Animal. But it's like ambery, dirty honey, like dirty honey in the best freaking way. Like the sexiest, most incredible way. This is bottled dirty honey. I want to lick it. I need it. Oh my God. BTSO makes some of the best, most unique fragrances and L'Animal is that bitch. Okay. And then my last two fragrances our milky marshmallowy scents. Secret Duchess from Okja is a dupe for Killian's Princess and this smells very, very similar. Honestly, can't really tell the difference. The reason why I haven't purchased the full size of Princess because this is so freaking close. This smells so good. 
This is the perfect matcha tea marshmallow scent. When you first spray it, you get a lot of that matcha tea and it's a little bit spicy, but then as it wears on the skin, it gets so fluffy. The marshmallow really pulls through and it's just so edible gourmand without being like sickly sweet. This is beautiful. And the fact that it's an extra de parfum is amazing. It lasts forever on the skin and it's such an affordable perfume. It's like 40 bucks. You guys need this, like super, super duper duper need this if you are a marshmallow fan. If you wanna smell like s'mores this fall, Look no further. Milk Bold by Commodity is fluffy, delicious, ooey gooey, smoky s'mores. I, oh my god, I love this one. I specifically love Bold the most. I like the originals, I mean, they're all good. Milk Personal, Milk Expressive, and Milk Bold, they're all really good, but this one is a little bit toastier, a little bit more sexy and grown up. It's giving roasted marshmallows, you know? I love this, it lasts forever on the skin. It's milky, lactonic, edible, and just so freaking delicious. Okay guys, that's it. Those are my top 20 must-have fragrances for the fall. They're literally gonna be in rotation. I am wearing these exclusively all fall. I need to know your favorite fragrances this fall please give me a little list down below and i will definitely check them out if i haven't already as you can tell i'm obsessed but yeah guys that completes this video i hope you guys enjoyed honestly let me know if you like these kind of videos and i will keep doing more fragrance videos over here on youtube as well but anyway guys that completes this video thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so 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 much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye